Who serves that side or your side? Oh, got him! <laughs> hey, Edwin, you played out there next to Greg. Did you play with Greg and Rebecca, his wife? I played Greg in the past, but no, I yeah. didn't play his wife. Okay. Add some phone work to you.
Hey right, Tom, thank you. You're fast.
Maybe I'll recall, I'll recall us uh, 15 minutes ago. Uh -oh. Until right now, haven't shown up yet. So we gotta stop it. Well. Were they able to get any out? Did they take an X-ray or anything? Good idea. Did they knock you out for the procedure? Mm -hmm. Sounds like a, a little Q11. It was a little tougher than you thought then, huh? about normal anyway. Well. Oh, they didn't do it from outside. I was wondering how they were going to do that. Come down, the, I'm down the course now. I can cover for you for a while here. Okay, well, I'll, I'll stick up. I'll stick around for a while here. Unless somebody else comes in, even with music. Guys, you didn't see that too quick. Uh, <laughs> Peter's here. Peter's here, but no Pete yet. Yeah. Because I almost popped out of his head on that. Yeah, I'll stick around for a while. Okay, talk to you. Hope you, hope you do better. Yep. Oh my god! Yeah. 
got her lucky there. It was, that, that's yeah, awesome. literally hit her. Yeah, I'm here now. Alright, just a little bit. Bye. Hello? What, did, did it redial you? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't touch my... <laughs> I didn't, I still have my hand, I don't know what happened. Oh, it's got two. Damn boy! Too late. Oh, so, okay, so, sorry. Didn't do it on purpose. Yeah, yeah. I got Gary coming down, too. Three, three, one. Oh, yeah. 
Good workout, buddy. Yeah, I'm working my ass up here. <laughs> I'll call Gary. Gary's going to come down too. Still won't technically cover you, but. Oh no! Is Pete coming down? I'm going to run out of the show. Seven two. Thank you. 
good sneaky shot, man. Yeah, no, you shouldn't be doing that one, right? uh, I mean, I got lucky. I got. I knew Kobe was going to fucking shoot that. Yeah. Oh, 
Peter. Or Pete. Yeah, you got a uh, fly fishing tackle? Person, yeah, yeah. If, if, if I feel Not like much. we go over, I don't know. One, two, two. Right, seven, two. I'm going to ask you what pool you recommend. Fly rod? Yeah. Okay. Orbis. Coming. Can't go wrong with Orbis, I imagine, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, eh? I got a decent one, but I don't want to pay $500 for it. Well, yeah, yeah, I, I was going to say. I know that you can spend a lot. Yeah. I want to get one with the. When are you leaving? Oh, I'm not uh, leaving till June. Well, actually, end of May. I don't know enough about fly rods to recommend. Yeah. Like what weight? What? Where are you going? Uh, Utah, uh, Flaming Gorge, Green River. I want to get a nine foot. 5-0 for 5 weight. 5 weight. And I think I want to get a, one with a lifetime warranty because, you know, this thing breaks pretty easy. And there's some out there for a $300, $300 range. Two $300 range. The Orbit and there's one called Clearwater. St. Croix makes oh, good ones. Who? St. Croix. I have St. Croix rods. St. Croix. And then the we're, we're, we're about to rock Remington. Nope. St. Croix is a really good rod building company. Yeah. So is Powell. I bet you Powell makes them. I have tons of Powell rods. I've seen Powell. I've seen St. Croix. Nice shot, Kelly. Did you take my word when I said it was, this was good? It was good? Have you looked in Bass Pro Shops? Yep. The way out? Oh, yeah, the one you yeah. And that's no, good. I, I didn't think it was. Where's it going to be? Do they, they have their own brand? Oh, yeah, I thought it was good the whole way. I didn't see one. Like, but they don't, they don't Bass Pro Shop brand? I didn't see one. I didn't go down there. I just looked it online. Well, they have them online. Yeah. Look at, look at, see if they have any Bass Pro Shop. I know Bass Pro Shop makes good, they have good rods. And they're not that expensive. Well, they're blanks that. They I don't know who makes their blanks. They just put their name on on some good blanks, right? mm -hmm. but you get them better price. Oh yeah, and, you know on sale stuff. They're buying from Costco kind of thing. Is there a sportsman's warehouse around here? Those are fishermen's warehouse. They were fishermen hardware. Fishermen's hardware. I know exactly where you are going. I think, uh, coming to Greg, right? I don't know, it's 42, I don't know what it is. I think there's one at Kelowna okay. I used to go to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah. Wow, it's cleaner. Go to Longfin. 7-8-1. There's actually a fly fishing shop in Newport. There is. Or Bob Marriott's in Fullerton. We've been to Bob Marriott's? No. Oh, you might, you'd love Bob Marriott's. Go check okay. that place out. Yep. That place is amazing. All shank, all shank. Huge. All shank, man. So, but just all fishing, not just fly fishing, right? All fly fishing. All fly fishing. All fly fishing. It'll be a neat trip for you to go take a look at that place if you've never been there. It's not far. I don't want to go overboard because I don't do it often enough. No, I know, but you never know. Yeah. Those guys can really guide you into the right thing. Well, a lot of times they have specials. Yeah, you know, I'd to get a good pull on special kind of deal. Yeah, you know, you just like last year's model or that sort of yeah. stuff. Because I'm not allowed to hit the net, right? Right, you can't hit the net. But if the, but if the ball bounces back over this side, you can just well, smash it down. But you got to be delicate, yeah. Uh, three, five, one.
know, half the time I get pissed off and go back to my ultralight screen wheel out there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Ghosting me, huh, bro? Three calls? Three calls? Okay. Three. When? I don't think I left a message on any of them over the weekend. Yeah, I was out of town. Yeah. Nice. I know. Three, five, one. Where'd you go? Lake Mojave. Oh, you were fishing again? Yeah. Do, we, do better this time? Yeah. Bass? Mm hmm. Small mouth, large mouth. Down the middle of the yeah. They're trying to speed up. Yeah. Better weather? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Weather was amazing. Was nice I think like 80 degrees and oh, really? that long? no wind. Maybe 85. Ah, you're right. How's the lake look? Pretty full? Cool. I mean, how's it good to go behind the right there? Full cool to the top kind of full? No. I, just kidding. I, just kidding. I mean, it's, it's up in the bushes. <laughs> which means that, you know, yeah, it's, it's been close. a while. Go. But that lake, that in Havasu really has nothing to do with the drought and the water. So Mojave and Havasu, what they do is... Behind the dam, and I know they... Oh, I know Havasu, they keep it usually pretty pretty full. Right. Well, well but, the same height. Well, they vary Havasu between four, about four feet. That's it. Okay? It'll, it'll either be pretty full or four feet below. Okay? But Mojave... Mojave in... Starting, I think, believe in September... They're going to start letting a wa lot of the water out. And they're going to get the water level down probably 10 feet below what it is right now. Well, that's every what Diamond Lake was supposed to get your water, isn't it? No, wait. Here, here, listen. Every year, they lower Lake Mojave down from where it's at today 10 feet because they have to have this freaking salamander thing or whatever spawn and they spawn in the mud in the mud flats and it's some endangered species because we asked why do you guys always lower the water level so low and then the, we we're talking to the lady the whatever well 10 feet isn't a killer no yeah but it's it's weird that all of a sudden man the water will be up and then they just suck it all down and we were wondering why did they do that they're doing it for a reason and she told us because of the endangered species oh. yeah Go! No. Good call, Greg. Five, seven, one. Start watching those movies. Yeah. Watch. Oh, yeah. Like that. Are you messing with me? Yeah, that's a grab. Oh, I thought it was feeling better. Five, seven, one. Go get it. Well, a couple days ago, I thought. Oh, my. Uh, I saw you down my here. My sinus infection somewhere. turned into an abscess tooth. Yeah. Yeah. So I had to have a root canal yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. You, don't, you don't think you had the abscess before? Because I know the abscess can go into your sinus. I've never heard of a sinus going into a tooth. Uh, yeah. No, because I was on antibiotics and it went away. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe it was. Either way, you, either way you had a boat, huh? Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I was trying to say bouncing. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. no. Not ready. I'm not gonna be ready for a while, man. I just ate lunch. I just got home from work. What's up, dude? Nothing. Everything good? Good, good. Yeah. Took the boat apart this weekend. I took my thing over to Nancy. Canvas oh, you Nancy. Yeah. yeah. I went to her house yesterday. Oh, you did? 500 to replace it, 600 with zippers. And then I heat and hawed and said, okay, 500. And then I was getting ready to leave. And she goes, you know, if you change your mind, I'm going to have to take it apart and charge you again. And I said, then let's do zippers. There you go. For 100 bucks, I'd rather have them and not need them than need it and not have them. She just laughed and goes, that's, that's a good choice. Well, I gotta, I <laughs> that's a good cap, choice. Gotta, just make sure you buy that zipper stuff. Younger, just about yeah, the yeah. Buy the zipper lube. Oh, yeah? That stuff looks so good. Okay. 
keep it every once in a while, you know. You just slather it on there. That's what we had to do all the time with all our stuff, to just so, because it does freeze up. I had I, a few of them. I have to put like 80 pounds of line, loop it through, and yeah. And I got my, uh, we try to keep that stuff loose. Oh. Oh, yeah, so we got to the lake at Mojave. At, started fishing at about 8.15 in the morning, Thursday morning. Really? So and you're my, four? Three. Okay. Three from Yorba Linda. Okay. And, and we, as my buddy's walking down, because he took the truck and boat up, he goes, hey, dude, we should just go right around the corner. I've heard that. And then we just went, well, we were at Brinks' Cove. Okay. Yeah, we just went right to the cove right there. It was and so like, cool. and, and my first, are, uh, no, we're not fishing uh, for stripers, we're fishing for large mouths and small mouths. Uh -huh. So my first uh, cove, three, four, three, I caught a five pound large mouth and two, four, oh. and two four pound small mouths on the first, really? in the first cove. And I'm like, oh, cool. Wow, that's a five pounder? That's good like fish. Good for like, yeah. my face? No, for that's good. It's called a Federico. And what cove? Where would you fish? Oh, we launched out of Princess Cove out of Lake Mojave. Okay, that's... Well, where's that relation to catch that? There is no catch though. You're thinking Havasu. Havasu, okay. Right, close to Catherine's. Close to Catherine's. It's six, yeah, so you come right into Catherine's. Yeah. You make your first right at, at the pay booth. Uh -huh. And you go six miles on the road or five miles and then okay. there's another launch The first thing is telephone code. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Right, cool. So you did do another route now? Or you have to your first route now? Yeah, he right. showed me the picture. Come on, so you can see where they drill the for these guys down and right up. to the roots and they just stop. He says you have a very different Just wait. Route. They're almost yeah. done. Usually you have two, you've got three, and you're really good. Really hard to get out. Okay, so they worked on it. Yeah, they did. 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 Yeah, yeah, so Saturday I pushed it super hard. We were, we were doing like this outside reef fishing, and then you get to a cove, and then I just put it on nine and whip across the cove just on the trolling motor and doing all that. That's a great battery. Awesome. So I'm pretty stoked on it. That's what you wanted. That's what I wanted. And then, of course, I had truck problems. Of course. Again. Well, you know what? We should only have one problem at a time. No, I got another problem going on. On the boat? Nope. What's going uh, on? Last Monday, somebody stole two envelopes out of the La Habra post box. Post, uh, the bo you know, the exterior boxes. Yeah, where you work? Not where I work, at, at the post office. Oh, oh, at I the post you office, you kind that you drive through and stick uh -huh. them in, yeah, which yeah. don't ever do that any, anymore, okay, because they're stealing it. So they stole two. I get a phone call Monday at about noon, and somebody tried to cash a check, and the teller's like, mm, you know, I need to see some more ID, blah, blah, blah. This. And the guy goes, you know what, I don't have time, and grabbed the check and ran. And then she looked at my account, and she just saw another check that was cashed. And then that's why she called me, and they cashed another a, a check for 480. So they stole the two checks that you know in the envelopes that I put in there to pay people, yeah. and they washed them. So I had to go to the bank, close my account out. Well, I keep thinking you keep shit, stepping in. I gotta go put it. Chase. And then to then I get an email from Chase saying I need to go into the branch or call them, saying that they need more information on my account my new account that I opened. So I just got back from there. That's why I'm just sitting here, just got to regroup, right? Are they, um, they are they need trying to prosecute woo! the guy? No. They, they, but they, they got him on film. Yeah, but they won't do shit. I know, that's what pisses me off. Right, they that whole thing. soon pay it. Yeah, and then so you know what I have to do? I have to go to the County of Orange tomorrow, and I have to get my fictitious business statement. That's what Chase is requiring me now to have, which... You idiots, I have my all my 
my numbers for my business, you know, for your taxes and all that stuff, it's not my social security number. When you have a business, you have your well, EINs, that. right? Is that what it's called? The v or, uh, Why are you fucking with you? I would be fucking with a person who's uh, because I Because I had to close my account out and open up another account. But what Chase is doing is because back in the day when Washington Mutual opened up all these accounts, they didn't require to have your fictitious business statement. No. <laughs> you just gave them your, your numbers. Yeah. You know, and everything matched and everything was all good. Everything's standing proper. But of course now Chase wants to make everything 100% and they're, the guy at the, uh, the banker over here, he goes, they're doing it with all the trust. We're having to call people up and emailing them, doing all this stuff, Chase is emailing them. And if, if they opened up a trust with Washington Mutual, and it floated over to Chase. Now Chase is coming back and saying, no, you need to have to give me all this proper paperwork. You need to do this. And this has been open for years. Like me, now I, I don't have that paperwork. I opened it up. I did this 30 years ago. Oh, yeah. Are you happy with Chase? Are you in that? I mean, I tell them to stick it in the room and go someplace else. But, but you know what all the banks are doing? They're all following suit with They're that all doing probably. The same thing. Probably. Yeah. All the major banks are changing. Everything's changing in the banking industry. Yeah, well now since uh, one of them went under. Well, that and I'm sure that they're trying to get everybody up the code. Yeah. Well, what happened to your truck? Oh, I just got a phone call for that. It needs new turbos. Turbos? Yeah, it's twin turbo. And they both went out? They both well, no, they did not both go out, but okay, just wanna... I'm going to replace them both. Is it under warranty? <laughs> that chance? I got 165,000 miles on that truck. If it was under warranty, Sorry, I'd that, be that happy. Been you. Uh, the turbo okay, part of the exhaust or the uh, uh, emission system? I don't know. The emission systems, I thought, had a longer warranty. No, they shot. I shot. They're not part of the, no. they're part of the uh, fuel system. Yeah, the fuel system is. No, what they do is normally they'll do like a three-year, 36,000 mile for Ford, and then maybe like a 50,000 mile powertrain. Yeah. So I don't know what the powertrain means. One four one. Powertrain usually rear end differential transmission. That stuff. A lot of times they'll say anything that's uh, yep. Yep. oiled. This lubricated. Yeah, but I'm way out of warranty. Two four one. So the turbo is going to run you. 3300 for both? Yeah. Well, that's not, I mean, that's not horrible. No, that's not bad. Well, yeah, if, if I was if going they, to a dealer, I'd 3500, you used to be able to buy a good car. No, it's not bad for a repair. Well, I went to go buy a new truck the other month, and it was going to cost me 75000 out the door. I bought a 4 year old. Everyone was stopped. They were like, oh, this is a bad shot. shot. For 1900 Oh, <laughs> That would have been the deal of the century if I still had it. Well, most things, when they came out, most things, weren't they under two grand? Probably. Well, I know that my car was I thought 30, was, I know, new was like 36 or 37. Or the Corvette? Or the Corvette. So my first brand new car that I ever bought was in, I think, 1983. Was a Ford truck, I mean a Toyota truck, a little 22R motor, no no extra cab, just a little truck, and I think I got that for like 5,900 bucks out the door. No, I paid 29.5 for my first home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too, I paid about, yeah. well, hold it, I paid less than that. Well, my first condo was uh, 90 grand. I bought a one-year-old... Where were you when your turbos went out? Well, it started right when I made the left turn going up to go fishing. The uh, service engine light came on and it said, see manual. I'm like, whatever, okay. And then the engine light came on. We're going back and forth from the house to the lake every day. And it was still running fine. And then on the way home, right in the middle of the desert, I'm at 40. You know, service yeah. was on, 
engine lights on, and then all of a sudden it flashed low oil. And the oil's not low. But those turbos, I think when it gets hot, he told me that the turbos, this like door opens up, and when you push it, it gets super hot, and those turbos use oil. Well, I had a turbo. Well, I had one of the first turbos that came out with Bobo had a turbo. But they used the uh, uh, oil to cool it. So I guess that's what this is, right? The oil's cooling well, I the turbos. They, I thought they found that that was a bad way to do it. But they might have oil to lubricate it. And yeah. Water to cool it. I don't know enough about these turbos. Well, you're lucky that a lot of times they go into uh, limp mode. Yeah, right. So what's the difference between a turbo charger and a supercharger? Supercharger runs off a belt, off the, you know, like a fan belt or something. Okay. And a turbo runs off a exhaust. Because my belt mode is supercharged. And that went into limp mode when my belt broke. Yeah. Yeah, it feels good. So belt driven and then exhaust driven. I mean, it's just fucking spazzing out. Yeah, you see those big uh, dragsters with the superchargers on them? They got that big belt running itself. Oh, okay. No! Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. No! Oh. Good pressure. 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 Good but I'm okay for now. We need to get away. Yeah. Take your mind off a little bit. You were there. You were there. Yeah, you were still there. You had it. You had it all lined. So try watching one of those movies. Try, right? What do you watch? Is that my tip? He gave me a couple of movies on a flash drive. Oh. Auto and no, we're five, I'm 80 to 80. Auto is it O-U-T-O or O-T-T-O? O-T-T-O. O-T-T-O. Oh, I've heard of that. I got a cute little movie for you guys to watch. It's that? really good. Watched it last night. Um, Dead <laughs> Dead Dead <Dead> <laughs> remember the <clears throat> remember the guy. I forget what year it was, and he figured out there was a plot in the lotto back in Michigan. Oh, I watched that one. Yeah, that was good with Brian Cranston and uh, and, and that. That was a true story. I know. Well, true-ish. Yeah, I think it was pretty true. Yeah, that was really good, huh? Mm-hmm. Punk kid from Harvard. <laughs> it's kind of sudden straight though. Yeah. Like quite Brian quite amazing how people's brains can work on math and things and yeah. just to be able to see. True story about a guy who can count cards in Vegas. Yeah. The guy did mind and things. Well, you saw the one. I think that's a hinder. You saw the one based on a true story with the kids from MIT, right? Yeah. 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 That went. To, that he t- the teacher See, what took I don't him to Vegas. Is, how is that illegal? Why? Why did they kick him out? I mean, it's not, not illegal, huh? It's not illegal. They just don't want you. They, they, they don't want you winning, huh? They don't want you winning like they that. They have a right to refuse. Right, right to refuse. Anybody. Yeah, but we have a right to refuse to let anybody winning. I know, right? Wow. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Of course, I guess it doesn't show people. I know, I'm sorry. I try, I, try, I try to grab one to get us back and he's yeah, a really good reaction to it. Is he 5'1? Are you counting cards? No. <laughs> you think it'd be really hard to prove that somebody's counting cards, so. Yeah. You just have to go by his winnings, I guess. Yeah, they, they can tell how they bet. It's all yeah. about the betting, yeah. it's all about what they're doing. But, it, but isn't that how you're supposed to play cards? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you're not supposed to play stupid. Well, way back in the day when they just had one car, one deck, yeah. blackjack, yeah. you know, everybody kind of tried to copy it. Unless you're, unless unless you're Rayman. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like that. Oh, yeah, Rayman. I watched that again. <laughs> oh, you did? Yeah. Good movie. Yeah, it's a great movie. Uh, five, eight, two. 
Yeah, we called one of our friends very mad. But he's not smart. <laughs> you got the other attributes. So. Yes. <laughs> Work up a little sweat there, have you? Yeah. I'm dying. <laughs> you drinking a lot of beer? Got a wet t shirt contest going on. Yeah. Not a good one. <laughs> yeah, not a good one. <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking those turbos are going to run me about 4,500. Oh, wow. Just, just, just cold. I was figured well over five. And that includes the installation. Yeah. Right? Well, it must be easy to get to. Or no, he said one is and one isn't. Of course, the one the one that is broken is easy to get to, and the other one... Could you get away with just one? I could, but I don't want to. Would it be that much cheaper to do just the one? I imagine half. You think half? Yeah. Or less than half. A little because less than half. Yeah, yeah because the one that he has to Because you'll have a lot of labor already done. Yeah. Well, not necessarily if you're only doing one. And one, the, e the one that he has to replace for two is the easy one to get to. Where's the other one located? On the other side, but he's saying that's the, the one that doesn't need to be replaced is the pain in the ass one. So it would be less than half to uh, just do the one. But I don't want to do that. Yeah, if you like the truck, you can I love the hold, truck. Hold on to it. Oh, I would have went and bought a new truck at 100,000 miles. Oh, nice. Just get in the spray. Yeah. Yeah. I was kind of thinking about getting the Bronco. Damn yeah, Broncos, you can pay $60,000 for a Bronco. Yes, you can. Oh, my. I'm trying to think of the name of it. Like oh, you can pay hundred grand for a pickup truck. You know, yeah. If you want to get a diesel with the little guy, little guy. Is it a Ford or a Chevy? Or? I think this one's Ford. Probably the Ford F2. It's probably the 250 or a 350. It's a stupid 350. It's a 350. Yeah, they're Ford. Six or eight Ford trailer. So my friend went and during COVID, he called up, he couldn't, you couldn't go to the dealership back then, I guess. Yeah. And he called up Ken Grody Ford. He was looking for the 450. Yeah, that's all good. It's all good. And the guy told him it was 75 grand. He goes, okay, I'll yeah, take it. For 75, hell yeah. Back, that was like back, yeah, so that was before everything went stupid. So the guy goes, okay. He goes, how much you want to put down, blah, 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 right? And he goes, I'll put 10 grand down. He goes, okay, we'll deliver the truck for you. The guy came and delivered the truck and never uh, picked up the check for the 10 grand. Darn. Yeah, so then, and so he's, so Matt, maybe a year later, he's out filling, things cool, huh? The Velocitor. I call it the Velociraptor. Yeah, we've got the Sonata Sport. I had 73,000 miles on it and started burning oil. I had him run a consumption test, oil consumption test on it. That was, you know, I mean, I drove it two weeks and it was like two quarts down. Yeah. And he, and I hadn't even gone through a tank of gas yet. And uh, he goes, oh, he said, oh, that one was out. Oh, that one was out. Jesus. I can't believe that one was out. Yeah, unbelievable. I know. So I, that I, I, in, no breeze. I told them I said, uh, it's going to take me a while to get, you know, they want me to do a thousand miles. I said, it's going to take me a while because I don't, you know, I don't drive anymore. Yeah. I got to like 500 miles, which is one tank of gas in that car. And uh, took it into him and he said, you know, I don't want to keep driving it and do more damage. Let me take a look. He's got a new engine coming. Oh, one. So, with 72,000 miles, I got a brand new motor in it. Cost me D-Ray. 
Well, they got a hundred thousand warranty on the car, they used to, right? Yeah, they do on the drive train. Yeah, on the drive train, not on, yeah, that's well, the way. Well, the drive train. Yeah, is that all that, that was for a point? You guys are not friends. Go. 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 Way to stay with it, Good hands, Peter. Did the call you? Uh, yeah. He didn't call me. He sent me. Yeah, he called me. He called me. I thought it was this side of the room. On this side of the room, of course, it's better. He's going to set it up. I need you to have a round robin in that. Oh, my God. Okay. Nice you guys go. You're doing that. Hit me hard enough to sell that. I hit the no, ball. I hit the ball. I'm sorry. Oh, good job, man. Good job. That would be the coming side. Not sorry. Eight nine. Eight nine. Eight nine. Eight nine. Eight nine. Okay. Yep. 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 This has become the A court and the B court. <laughs> right? For a while. I don't see the locals showing up. How was a one? One, one, two. Post the other rules. Tell me what they want. I mean, it's just like that cabinet. I went to them and said, we're looking to get a cabinet. What material? It's going to be just like this here. The resin. They're like, okay. And I took a picture of it. And said, this is what they want. No problem. Do it. Buy it and now they tell us we place the cabinet. It's got to be out of wood. And they're not saying anything about giving us our money. No. $350 later, it's still you. Because somebody in the... Uh, oh. the architectural design. Architectural yeah. landscape. Yeah. 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 And I heard it was just one person who didn't have it. I haven't seen anything in the bylaws that says it has to be wood. And that's the most ludicrous thing ever. It shouldn't be wood. It should be the other way around. Well, there is, there is something about uh, the size of a <coughs> cabinet you can have on your patio. It's not supposed to be over the top of your fence. Yeah, you're not supposed to be able to see it. Too good. Too good. They told him this, if you make any kind of squawk about it, they're going to make you take these off. We got one five two. So uh, now they're... Ultimatum, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, you know, how are they getting away with this? I don't know. That's interesting. And, you know, you talk to Larry. He knows all this crap. He used to be a, an HMO president. Or an HMO. Who's <laughs> <laughs> an insurance? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you know that, that that lawyer in your building? He lives upstairs. On, on that. You, you heard that they, they gave him grief about uh, storage in his garage. You know, he's redoing his place yeah. and he has some chemicals in there or something. Uh -huh. And they told him that uh, 
they had to get him out and they get it out. They want an inspector's garage. And he wrote back, uh, get a warrant. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but if you read the bylaws in the CCNRs, we don't own those garages. Nope. No, they do. So I think they can do whatever they want, right? Uh, yeah, I want them to be Well, they're only responsible for the outside, though, not the inside, right? I'm sorry? They're not responsible for the inside. Because if they were, they'd have to be doing all the repairs on the inside. But no, I know what you're saying. They do own the, you're not allowed to take down the cabinets that they have in there. Or the shelving. You have to leave that. I don't want to take them down and take some cabinets that put in there. Hold up, I can't let them out, man. Basically, they leave you alone when you get a car. I'm just wondering what chemicals you got in there. Why don't you still paint in the garage? Yeah, I do. I still paint in the garage, can't you? Oh, I think so. I'm just going to I played three hours this morning. Wow. Yeah. That's why I retired. Uh, I played three hours this morning already. Yes. Yeah. No, you go, you go. Huh? You go. It was, yeah, but the guy's out there. The gallery says he's out there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Later. Surgery, we're really worried about if I had any kind of a uh, thin infection. Oh, I'm a little late, maybe. Oh, hell, I had it. Spread through your body. I've been taking 500 milligrams of oxyphilin. Before I went to have my dental procedure, I'd take a thousand. Before I went to have my dental procedure, I'd take a thousand. Four? Four of them? Four of them, two thousand. Yeah. Sound like a coconut. What's that? Sound like a sculpting. It's like a stone down there. Yeah, way down. And then you gotta have another root canal before they can do anything? No. 
Who's this young man? This is my grandson. Hi. We came What's, your name, man? What's your name? Ethan. Ethan. Oh, yes. Ethan, want a print? He would love to. Yeah. Do you want to go sit on that chair? You can sit on my lap. Okay. We'll go over here. Just, just one second. As soon as they serve this call. Ten, ten, ten. That training we've given them. Table you're talking about? Uh, on uh, YouTube. No, when I was doing something like that, when this thing was bad, I could only sleep for 10 15 minutes. I did that. Watch one of these guys went to uh, uh, like state fairs and so trying all the bizarre foods that people made that were supposed to be good. One of them was pizza pies with sliced bananas, carnitas, snack sauce. We can't judge it to your fire. I mean, it's got stuff in there that I like. And they suck their nose. Oh my gosh, it's just incredible. Incredible good. Oh, yeah. right. I mean, one of the best things. Uh, one of the guys said, they, that's they, you they, you they, you like, baby. That's you like. That's 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 big deal. Yeah. 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 Well, that's one of the things I have to taste. It doesn't sound good. They put peanut butter and jelly. What did I say? Yeah. 
fucking just get that. Bob's hit drop shots against me. I'm gonna play make a little bit. Full fan game right now. Here we go. Seven ten. You're good. I've worked with this 13 year old. I don't know if you've ever heard me talk about it. Yeah, I've heard you talk about the sun. Well, I've heard you talk about both of them. Yeah, yeah. I've always said that was going to be a big pro. 531. Nice, there you go. Good shot. Good hand on that short time. Oh, that's fine. Peter? Talked him into the tightness. I think I've met all three of them. That's yours? Love, love the curls, man. Curly toe head. Oh, Kobe! 
Yeah. 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 Me too. Oh, me too. Toe head. Mine wasn't quite that curly, but it was white. White as. Yeah. Well, mine went white at about forty. <laughs> was it white when you're little too? No, it's real dark. Oh yeah. You sit on the other side, you're looking right into the sun, though, so you gotta decide what took the poison. Are you gonna play? I gotta start dinner pretty soon. What? I gotta start dinner pretty soon. Are you the, the cooker? Pretty much. But the cooker. Judy still with? No. Pork chops tonight. I don't want to grill. Got a little barbecue? Yeah, I got the little Weber that... Uh, <laughs> those are nice, aren't they? Yeah. 
It's called the two, I think. Yeah. 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 Through the legs, I've tried by Look inside of the heat place. It's been just all awesome. yeah. yeah. down here melted. It. Is it a two? You know, you can buy that. I've replaced the parts of mine a couple times. From COVID, huh? No. Don't know what caused it. Boy, your body's all screwed up. You might as well just call it quits right now. I'm yeah. ready. <laughs> I was hurting It'd so be a relief, huh? I was hurting so bad the other day with this, I told you. Yeah. I didn't tell her at the time, but after I finally got it all taken care of. It. If I would have gone, I'd have been okay with it. I mean, I was that far gone. I just, well, you know, toothache and earache. <laughs> That's the problem. This is shooting right up through here and then right up into my brain. Remember when we first retired, I had a root canal and a crown then. And we were all the way over on the East Coast in the motorhome, and I could just, I had this little dull headache, a real light, light pain. Did it last for a month? After the surgery or before? Yeah, well, what happened was they did the root canal, then the root crack. So it was, it was getting irritated, and I was, and I didn't really know. It didn't feel that bad, and I just wasn't right. And pretty soon I was getting edgy, and I was like, What's going on? This, "This guy that had yesterday is a new guy to me. I, I changed doctors because mine was gouging me, and she went in there and just started. She goes, I'm out of here, man. You got look at the X-rays and stuff." She says, your roots are, I don't want to mess with them. What do you got? She needs to see me. So she called over and I could go right. It was her office was there on University in the 405. And the endodontist is right off San Chandler. Never met either one of them. Got in that endodontist. That guy was so good. Showed me the picture and says this is a tooth had a crown on it and supposedly a root canal. They never did that. Send it to the record. No, they didn't do it. They didn't go down the roots at all. He showed me the extra and says this, this is what you came in with. And then he showed it when it was all done with the roots you know, waving way up in there. He says this is what he showed. And the puppies are wrong. Yeah. Oh, right. So did they, did they go back in and uh, pick out the he said, he said we can go in and try to fix it. And you got a 50 50 chance I had him pull. Oh. If they're the back ones, I've had two back ones pull. Yeah, me too. Uh, this one's one in. Yeah. And I'm yeah. caught. And I'm like, man. I said, I need that part to choose. Well, if they pull that one, they can do a bridge. When it's very bad, you have to use your have to do it. Is it kind of tough to do when you're traveling, or were you at a place I wait till I, I didn't know what it was until I got home. Oh. That's what, what I hear one of the complaints about people full timing for medical care. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, I'm sure that. Is a problem for people. We're pretty healthy, and we we always yeah. had a yearly physical and everything. But you never know. You know. Well, even not full time, which I mean, I, I worry about. You know, when we're gone for a month or so, and you're out of town. Yeah. Oh, no. I got Kaiser. They're pretty good. I can go to anybody. Yeah. 
Yeah, my buddy, he retired and moved to Havasu and he had to have a bypass. I go, where'd you have it done? He goes, in Havasu. I go, Havasu's no. getting some good medical. I mean, they yeah. got a lot of retired people there. Well, but there's so many old, uh, you're welcome. Uh, there's so many old folks there. Oh, yes, they did. They I thought. Well, but they used to go to uh, Palm Springs for the medical care, not yeah. too far away. I'll tell you, um, don't have any medical work done in Vegas. <laughs> Everything that I had done there. No. So it was one of my, my concerns. Cardi my cardiologist had me on so many meds that it was screwing me up. Yeah. Plus, I had a neurologist say I had Parkinson's, and then I got diagnosed here as not that much. So it doesn't go away. <laughs> Damn little buggy is flying around my head, but it needs to be. Oh, nice! <laughs> <laughs> Feeds it. The goalkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> Multi talent. Oh. Hey, no! There's nobody else here. Well, it's Tuesday. I don't normally play on Tuesday. Sometimes they got enough that these guys got to go and change the course. Yeah. It's a great spot. Though. Come on. Oh, it's a beautiful day. I'd expect Thank a lot you. more people out there. Yeah. Ours is literally all clover and... Uh, and yeah, they okay. sprayed ours the other day. I was wondering if they're going to spray because I, yeah. I heard that Newport won't let you spray over So I don't know. I don't think we decided to follow suit. I know they sprayed the trees. I haven't seen them spray the grass. Yeah, they sprayed the grass. They had to put the signs up around. Such a good leave, huh? Yeah. So good. <laughs> you might be going through phase by phase. Are they spraying for mosquitoes or are they spraying for I think they're spraying for weeds. Of course, weeds. most of that grass is weeds anyway. Yep. We had mostly grass, and it's almost all weeds. Nice. Probably eighty percent. Well, when they let it get so long, we all went to see. So it's going to really get worse. <laughs> it's going to be really bad on the dog. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I was like, I wanted you to think it. <laughs> <laughs> How are you rigging your worm? I'm just rigging a Texas style. Your Texas yeah. style. And you I, ever... I like to peg the sinker too, so you don't get the sinker sliding back. Yeah, you use a bobber well, stopper. No, I got <laughs> Old school. Yeah. That's why we used to do it. Yeah. You ever use a bobber stopper? Uh, you know I use those. Those things are pretty cool. Man. Yeah, I use them up in uh, Crowley. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. So you know all about. Yeah. It. Yeah, but I like the bobber stoppers. Cool. For pitching and flipping and yeah. all that stuff. So you know you don't fish Senkos? No. A guy gave me one. Oh, you ever, I, uh, one. Uh, <laughs> I have these the next right. point, I So we launch at Castle Rock. Yeah. Right. And I, I go out into the river. There's some coves right okay. there by North Point. Sure. Uh -huh. I fish all that stuff. Right. And being in the kayak and the flow tube, I'm limited to what I can do. So I'm just pitching plastics right. into the cover. And, so now how about Ica's? Your are mm -hmm. Okay, I, I got to get you some Icas and Senko. Oh, that's right. You'll, you'll... Is Senko sink, just a long right. sinking worm? It is. Okay, so a guy gave me one at Castle Rock. And he said, yeah, he goes, I've been using these. Don't put any weight on right. it. Just rig it with us and flip it in. Well, I got hammered a few times on it. Senkos are deadly. Yeah. So my friend uh, pours off everything. You oh, name it, he pours it using yeah. Norval Oh. And it's all whatever custom colors, but you got to talk to me before you go, and I'll get So the Ica, have you seen it? Yeah. Okay, an Ica is about this long and about that thick. And it has a skirt on it. It's all rubber. And then it's heavily salted, just like the Senko. So that's why the worm's heavy. Uh -huh. The worm's salted heavy with 
popcorn salt. Oh, you okay. mean that also bubble thing? It looks like a worm, but it's not worm. But, uh, it, no, it, it is a plastic worm. Plastic worm, but, yeah. but, but, but see, here's the thing. Okay, with a, the, the, the worm called the Sanko, the way it's made and the way with the popcorn salt and being heavy, that when it sinks, it shakes. Like when you throw out a regular plastic worm, it's just gonna float down. Now that could be deadly too. But, but okay, so the Ica, so you, you, so you fish a four-aught hook, okay? And then you hook the Ica, and when you pitch it out into the trees or to the tulies, it actually swims backwards away from you. So like, let's say you're fishing cover like this, pitch it right onto there, and then, and then you leave it slack line, and then you throw it out. But you can fish that Ica, like let's say at the lake or whatever, and you're off a point or you're in a cove, I mean, we're casting as far as we can cast with those ikas and maybe about eight, ten feet offshore and just let them sink down. And then when you hit the bottom, you just kind of shake it a little bit and shake it a little bit. The water is so clear at Mojave. If you don't get bit, you just reel it in and fire out in the other direction. And you know, but they're fun to fish because they don't get hung up. 99% not hung up. You can fish rocks, you can fish trees, you can fish current, you can fish all that stuff. And those things are... They're deadly. Yeah. So the Ica and the uh, and the Sanko is like my go-to, like for you know plastic baits. Yeah. And then he makes the Chigger Crop. Oh. Have you heard of the Chigger Crop? Uh, no, but I, I need to get a crawfish looking. Uh... This guy makes the best stuff. Yeah. Last time I go to my friend company. Okay, he he sells those for fish. A lot of warm everything. Uh, all, almost. Uh, 10,000 different. Yeah. Whatever I go over there, I got some for you. Yeah, grab me some. Ah! Yeah, I brought my bass boat home last weekend. Yeah. Or, you know, whatever, nine days ago, yeah. and I had it out here, and then so you, you I was... So you use a different the room, a different, uh, different thing. Than, Everything. Uh, every, all different, right? Different colors. Different, a different color. Yeah, different they have a... They have a must, sizes, they have a, some everything. Smell, yeah. though, some smell. Yeah. My friend sent his, sent his, all that stuff. And, but see, he, we call him the pirate because he has all the molds from everybody else that came up with it. Like Yamamoto's the, he's the one that came up with the Aika and the Sanko. And then, you know, Yum started calling it the Yum Dinger and doing, you know, and he, you can make the four inch, you can make the six inch, the eight inch, you can make the skinnies. Like my favorite is the four inch Sanko. Do you fish bait caster or do you fish spinning rod? You fish bait caster. So I like to throw the four inch Senko on a spinning rod with 10 pound braid and then I put eight pound floral on there. And you can cast that thing a mile regardless whether the wind's blowing or doing whatever, you know? But I do, I like fishing the six inch Senko on bait caster. My friend just got two sevens out at Havasu on Wednesday when he was out there. Yeah, I, I love uh, this time of the year out there. Yeah. The weather is beautiful, yeah. right? But you were out there in that weird kind of weather too, right? We were out there 10 days and we were on the water six out of the 10 days. Yeah. Yeah, it got windy and it was yeah. cloudy and kind of cold. So where, when you go to Castle Rock, how do you yeah. get down there? So you drive to Castle Rock. Yeah, I don't know how to drive to Castle Rock. Oh, you, you that London Bridge Road that's... Uh, west of uh, 95. Oh, you coming, so if you, if you go on down uh, ah. <laughs> not McCulloch, uh, what's, what's the street this side of McCulloch? Right. Okay, I, I know what you're talking about. You know, it turns, you just okay. follow that all the way follow out. That way. Out past uh, Home Depot. Well. Yeah. Uh, just yeah, before, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that new shopping center? Yeah. So when it's the road turns, you take a left. Cool. And then you just go out and then you make it a right and you kind of zigzag. Now how far of a little walk is it with your kayak it's and your stuff? Maybe a quarter mile. Oh, that's not bad. Yes, if you have wheels, it's not bad. Yeah, I mean, I've only been on the water up there on my boat. Yeah. yeah. I'm just so wondering then, how you guys get down there. So then there's a gigantic cove, yeah. and then there's a cut through the weeds, right. Right. and you just pedal right out there. And, and then after you get out, you, you turn, uh, you load your kayak coming back. Come yeah. pad, you're the same place. Yeah, come yeah, yeah, because he's got his car there. No, because uh, you, you go to the uh, water. Well, that's, all about it. You got, you, you that's gotta, different though, Peter. Yeah, they drop you off way up yeah, top yeah, and, then they, yeah. and then somebody comes and picks you up. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I've had Judy yeah, drop me off there yeah. and pick me up at Mesquite. There's those two yeah. Mesquite North and Mesquite South. 
there's two little uh, car top launches. Okay. More towards town. And it's an all-day thing. But yeah. Because you get in those coves, and you can be in those coves. Sure. Like some of my favorite, hours, you know, some of my favorite coves are the ones right across from the sand bar. Yeah. Those you can, you can almost fish in there all day long. Yeah. They're so big, right? I know. I just know that when when you fish the salmon, ah! the salmon, oh, yeah. oh you hold it, oh so good, you know. And then you you, you can pull or not pull. If they pull you very hard, it's big water. <laughs> what was the water clarity of the river? It was uh, well. Was that murky? Yeah. You should have seen the videos that I saw. Why it's so murky. The downpour that they had in Laughlin yeah. was oh, yeah. insane. Yeah. All the mud and everything that by the casinos all pouring down. And I, was there debris? A lot of debris in the I water? I didn't see a lot of debris. Just a lot of it, it was off. But you mainly stayed in the backwater? Yes. yes. Well, we don't get out in the channel. So do you ever fish the lake in the kayaks? No, not really. No? no. Okay. No. It's just too much water. Yeah. Yeah. Where do you stay? Well, this time we stayed in a, uh, like a B and B, Airbnb. Yeah. And it was right in. It was like a uh, north or south end, south end of town. Yeah. So we were away. It was really cool. It was the guy had his house on a corner lot, and he was kind of up. Uh huh. And so his garage was like below grade, and he turned the garage into the living area, and then it had like a. Uh, a smaller living area with the bathroom. So he put a kitchen in the garage and he rents it out. We got for yeah, partner. What? Yeah. Oh, Here's uh, some trash talking to do. <laughs> how about, how about, about here? Oh, oh, so like if I could rent that place out, I could still have a place to back my boat and truck up there? Well, is it big enough? You could have, but he he's only going to do long term. Oh, because if you do it day by day, you got to pay more taxes and shit in the city. So he says, fuck it, I'm just doing monthly. God, it's such yeah. Wow. They're doing it everywhere. Yeah. They're doing that everywhere yeah. to people. So I stayed at three weeks ago. I stayed at Cottonwood Cove. Okay, and then we held our annual bass tournament with all of our buddies. Yeah. And then I left Thursday morning from here at two o'clock in the morning. I put my boat over at my buddy's house. Got to his house at quarter to three. Loaded up and gone at three. And at Catherine's. Or, no. yeah, Catherine's riding <laughs> by 8.15 and fish Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And so we were, we got hooked up with one of my friends that his buddy went, and they have a house right above Catherine. Yeah. So, like, two miles past. Yeah. So that was nice and convenient, you know, to where we just pull off the water and we just come out and go up yeah. and we're at the house. And yeah. One time we got back to the house on Saturday and the guy got back early and he was smoking ribs and, you know, yeah, and you're like, oh, this is awesome, make a cocktail, and after 12 and a half hours on the water, yeah, so I put, I, I don't know if I told you, so I bought a uh, new battery for my boat, um, I bought the 36 volt lithium, yeah, so I bought it, and I installed it like a month and a half ago, getting ready for my bass fishing tournament. And anyways, long story, dude, it took a dump on me on Friday at 3 o'clock. No power, nothing. <laughs> Call the guy, da 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 and he goes, yep, you got a bad Sorry, man, I'll send you one. So I sent me a, a new one, and supposedly he says he sent me a better one, because it's not the same, it's wider. Anyways, I put that thing to the test on the weekend. I pushed it... We fished hard Thursday, and it's Bluetooth, so I get on, and it only uses like 18% all day. And then the next day, I didn't even charge, and then the next day after that, we were still like at 68% left, and then I charged, you know, Friday night, but it's awesome because, you know, before I had the 12 volt batteries with all of them. Now it's just this with the Bluetooth, I mean, you can be on the water, maybe you're camping or whatever, and you know how much battery you have left on it yeah. and all that stuff so that's pretty cool yeah. also you can look uh, from the youtube you can chase the power level no yeah from bluetooth yeah from bluetooth. yeah yep yep the level of it all yeah. i paid 2100 bucks for the battery the charger and the tray and it was a really good deal compared to buying like 312s because yeah. those are about 900 a piece and then uh i bought it from a guy that's in toronto canada oh yeah and they have some coming. sort of 
<laughs> Good stare down there, J Dub. has some sort of agreement, so he says, <laughs> that you don't have to pay taxes. Oh, wait, that was Matt Wright. So I didn't pay taxes. Yeah. So he just spends it 2100 bucks flat. Being on that. Yeah. That's... You know, you research it all and all that stuff, and you're like, I don't think they're going to steal, man. Ten year warranty. Oh, yeah! So I'm pretty excited about that. And then I put a new AGM battery for the starting and all the electronics. All right, here we go. You know, three years ago I did the 36 volt trolling motor with the GPS on it. Because this boat's an 05. Yeah. And I, uh, you know, that, that trolling motor that came with the boat was still working, still good. But I figured, you know what? It's 12 years old or whatever. It's, 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 uh, you know, you buy a new toy every once in a while. So I think the next thing that I want to do to my boat, have you seen that sea deck? that everybody's doing. So all bass boats come carpeted, uh, which I think is oh, stupid. Yeah. Because I like to striper fish too, yeah. and bounce fish on the boat, yeah. and do everything, yeah. whatever. Yeah. You know, and then you got it. So my next thing that I'd really like to do is have all the carpet ripped out, and then it's a thick foam cushion, really nice, that they stick on your boat. And when you walk on it, you walk barefoot, whatever, and it's better for your back, you know, we're all off. You can just you can just vacuum it. You can wash it like my buddies have it in their ocean boat. Dude, we're bouncing tuna in on it and doing all that. And just wash it. I mean, it cleans up easy. Yeah. And it's nice on the feet. Yeah. But that would really be cool to do. I've all, I've been wanting to do that for a while. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, I like it. So I grew up as a kid float tube fishing. Yeah. I used to make my own float tubes and do all that. I I used to love float tubing. That one's better. I think it's easier to float it's, tube than it is kayak fishing. Well, especially in the winter. Yeah, because, you know, you just yeah. like this with the float tube, and now with the new ones that are all pointed yeah, and all that stuff, those things haul out. You still be put a remote control. I know. Just like uh, you have control, the, I saw that uh, in, the, in the shorts. So whatever it is, you don't drive with the boat. Yeah, yeah. Right. Even, even. Even you want to go, you didn't know how to drive a boat. So far, he can, he can yeah. look at inside and just drive the boat and go outside. Well, I have remote control yeah. for my trolling yeah. for my trolling motor. Yeah. I've never even tried it. Yeah, uh, that's a lot of fun, though. Yeah, yeah. I'm old school. Because, 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 because I know a lot of GPS. Uh, not only one GPS, a couple of GPS. At the table, so. They have a lot of remote and also the uh, they have a camera. Right there. Yep. there we see that. Just a right now, like a lot of cars. It's a, we, uh -oh. You don't need a driving. The Peter my motor up front on my boat is electric, uh -huh. and it's 36 volts. And this thing has a ton of power, yeah. and you control it like this with your foot.